Red 2 standing by, all four lit and in the green. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I was going to be looking up a Shakespeare quote about a cursed location, some... The one that has the mention of foul pox and lair or whatever it is. I can't remember which play it's in. I think it's in Macbeth, but I'll look it up. Anyway, nothing would be more appropriate a description for this place. The cursed hell that is Tingle Island that will drain our wallet and is operated by people in slavery. Yep, Tingle is a slave driver in this game. We have, as well as being a ripoff merchant, we have to stump up a lot of money for his services. But we are finally ready to go on with the tri- wait. That's... Is that us? That's... No, they're fairies. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. So, yes. Right, so we can't actually use the Tingle Tuner because I don't have a Game Boy Advance on hand. And I don't have the link cable on hand either. So yeah, these poor sods wind up just working in slavery. This guy has another brother. If that guy could just come spin this thing instead of me. He's dragged somebody he doesn't know into slavery. You want to punt this guy off the, off the island and drown him. No wonder he was in jail. He's not the Picto Box thief. But he's a slave driver and a ripoff merchant. Send him to drown in the ocean. Alright, ripoff merchant. I haven't been longing to see you, but I have to beat the game. Right, get to. T Stop creeping me out. Bloody expensive. Can't I get them to can I get them done all at once? I was originally going to use uh, Mumbo's incantation for him, but I don't think he deserves it. He, oh, we have to do all of them individually. Rightio, we'll just have to speed through this. Right, we've actually got them all. I sort of skipped over his dialogue, but we can open our Triforce charts and find out, and I'm getting off this island. Somehow it didn't hurt my knees. Right, let's take a look at our Triforce charts. Chart number one. That would be amid the ruins of... Amid the ruins of Great Fish Island. That is Gale Island, I believe. That is a potato. What? What's that one again? That's... It's not Bomb Island. It's not... It's not my oasis. Oh, it's Stonewatcher Island. That's home. I definitely know that's home. That one is a... Is that Overlook Island? No, it's not. It's... It's something we climbed. 
Cliff Plateau Isles. That's Northern Triangle Island, isn't it? Southern. I'm a doofus. That one we did open, that's seven that's seven star isles. Seven star isles. Yep. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. And this one is that's two eye reef, isn't it? Yep. Alright, so first destination. Great Fish Isle to the southwest. We're going to need some suitably heroic music as we travel the seas. I'm just going to be heading out and getting the tr shards of the Triforce. So we'll speed it up. We'll listen to, s to some really good music. And away we go.
there we go. The Triforce of Courage is complete. Well done, Lunk. With the shards you have collected, the Triforce of Courage is now complete at last. We must make for Hyrule, quickly. I, before I get shot, there is something I want to do. It's personal. I'm sure you'll understand. Better go and resupply at Dragon Roost Island. Now look, I know we were firing on a couple of people who were dragged into slave labour, but they were cursed with Tingle. They were infected by him, they'd been dressed up by him, they'd been forced to look like him. It was the only way. I regret having to do it, but they had to be killed to get the sweet release from that curse. I'm terribly sorry, but it had to be done. And now we have to chase down Beetle. Cruising speed is awful. Get back here! I saved... I saved something special for you. Get back here, Beetle! You can't run! It's the world's worst chase scene. There we are, one into Beetle for old time's sake. Now, let's actually buy our bombs. We're not going to need too much more to do up on the surface. We've completed what we need to. So we've got 40 points. We'll have 43 after this. I don't really need to buy a lot of stuff. There we are, bombs are topped up. Maybe I'll show off what happens someday if I just wind up going and shooting Tingle again. But, with the Triforce in hand and our boat having... Somehow everything has teleported us to the start of Dragon Roost Island. Let's change the wind. And then let's head to the Tower of the Gods. We have the complete Triforce in hand, and hopefully that's good for us. The ocean's biggest idiot is about to prove himself as a hero. I think. It's been a wild ride. 
to think it started out as a little relaxation project to help me de-stress after life got a bit troublesome. And it turned into the best and most complete run of Wind Waker I've ever done. Except for the Picto Box quest. I hadn't worked out what to do with that and I don't think I could manage to pull that off. I'm not sure how, how you get the bosses. But... Let's go forth! And run into a cutscene! Well done, Lunk. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. I'm surprised it isn't held together with sticky tape and chicken wire. The warp is back, and we got a sweet tattoo! Oh! What is this? There on your hand! The Triforce piece now dwells within you! It is the Triforce of Courage! Proof that you are indeed the true hero! You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has been bestowed upon you! Surely from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of Winds! Or the Village Idiot, one of the two. Lunk! Hero of Winds! Go forth! To Hyrule! To Zelda's side! Hey, now that I'm the hero, can I finally get my Batman costume I wanted for Halloween? Well, back into Hyrule. Let's get going as quickly as we can. It, oh, that's, that's very clever how they obscure that. That where you are just obscures the fact that's been demolished. Oh, man. Looks kind of like the link from A Link to the Past rather than the one from Ocarina of Time. What's up with that? Something's gone wrong here, though. Oh, man. we I spent too long dicking around and she's in trouble, isn't she? Oh, I'm going to get blamed for this. Wait, you're here. Oh, great, she's dead. You have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I have taken your precious Zelda. And here you shall fall into eternal slumber. Oh man, he's torched the castle. We gotta get out of here. Oh. Are they trying to say hello? But we got a heck of a rumble coming up. Still, we dealt with the savage labyrinth. They've got neat armor though. Well, they're leaving flames behind. The last thing I want to be is on flames. All right, armor's gone. Take advantage of their openings. Keep them both on the screen if we can. And we can start taking them out in tandem. Alright, that one's gone. Time to burn! It burns! Or just crash into an invisible wall. 
Very nicely done. Well, the sprinkler system started, the fire's out. That's all good. And we're getting a few accoutrements anyway, but we didn't really need too much stuff. Well, that sucks. We have lost Zelda, we stuffed around too long, and she's been captured. There's only one thing to do, head out the far side of the castle, and storm Ganon's tower. We just wind up running out there. Bar or we... No, we don't actually get to run outside. So we did go out here and run into the barrier earlier. Should be about here. Do we get hurt if we walk into it? No. But... Few fancy swings. And the barrier surrounding the castle shatters like glass. Quite literally, I didn't I didn't realize it did that. It's a great effect. All right, we're on the road not to Viridian City, but to Ganon's Tower. Which you will see over there. Just poking its head above the landscape. Biding its time. Ah, oh, pea hats. Well, we can take care of these pretty easily. We will probably face a number of threats. And we've got pottery under the... We've got pottery on the road. So, pea hat's not too hard to deal with. Choose. Also easy to deal with. Dude really could have put some better defences on the road. Like, he's just got pea hats and choose, and we were dealing with those in the second dungeon. Ah, moblins, there we go. Okay, that that guy just flat out What? There was some delayed reaction in that. Alright, so it just makes me do a straight on attack. That's awkward. There we are, that's slightly better, but I'm like, half the time they actually didn't take damage from my attacks. I've stuck my sword through their head and they do no damage. And then proceed to start killing each other. It's like some sort of delayed reaction sword technique. It's like, okay, I'm going to kill you. Nothing happens. Then them beating each other up winds up being as effective as my sword was. What on earth? Alright. Oh, there is a dark nut. Not as strong as the ones we just fought. Whoop. Got a little greedy there. It's like the old days of the Zelda games. Enemies have different hues that denote different strength. It's just that the ones with the... This time the ones with the sort of the... I know the armor winds up uh, depicting their strength, but also you can see in the physiology, like the ones with the uh, the ones with the blue skin tones, have slightly less power than the ones with the uh, oh there are keys there than the ones with the more reddish skin tones, which is actually a bit of an inversion from the way the Zelda games usually go. And I'm trying to actually explain this without sounding really really terrible. But usually, like from the early Zelda games onwards, red coloured enemies were usually the basic ones and blue ones were stronger. This time it's the red ones that are stronger than the blue blue ones when it comes to Dark Nuts. Nice. I can actually... That's really good. 
Right, hook shot across. And here we are. The entrance to Ganon's Tower. I wonder how long this episode is going to wind up being. But it's a good spot to wrap it up. Thank you very much for joining me. Till next time, this is Red 2 returning to base.